Hey YouTube, Dave Mack here. I'm testing FSD Beta 10.12.2 and I wanted to make a compilation of some of the scenarios I've driven over the past year, year and a half, uh, and show you how they've improved. Now to do that, I wanted to make an efficient route that covered a bunch of those different cases and I found a pretty cool way to do that. So this will be a two-part video. The first part is going to show uh, how to make that route, load that into the Tesla Waypoint system in an uh, repeatable way using uh, iPhone shortcuts. And then the second part will be the drive. So let's go. So I wanted to make a route that included multiple waypoints and scenarios and was having a hard time using a better route planner, Apple Maps or Google Maps. And then I found Route XL. There's some pretty advanced options in here, uh, but it's pretty simple to use as well. So even without an account, you can do this. Uh, I made one, uh, the free account, which has these options here uh, is I think can be pretty good for my uses, but, uh, so let me go ahead. And what I was trying to do was make a route that includes uh, a lot of the different places I've been. So all you have to do is really search addresses or click, and you can add all the points you want. And then what it will do is make an optimized route to figure out the best way to do it. And there are some advanced features, uh, including saying which way you want to go on a road and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, I think this is going to be really great for FSD beta. So let's just say I click here and I want this to be my start point. Uh, it adds uh, home icon. So I think that that's the start pl uh, starting point. And then I'm wondering if uh, clicking the next one adds a finish point. Let's say it's going to be the same point and that's just a stop. So we could say finish here and there we go. Uh, and then you can add the rest of the points. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to click there. So it is a little bit of a different kind of interface, but let's say the first thing I wanted to do was this who's, or sorry, hose road uh, loop. So I can add, click once and add a stop there. Uh, and then I'm not gonna do anything with that yet. And then I say, I want to come and add, uh, try a U-turn. So there's this U-turn here that I've seen before on Alban Road. So I'm going to add that one, and then I'm going to, oh, there's a little uh, roundabout right up here that I want to uh, try as well. So I'm going to add that, all right, and then uh, I want to try the mini roundabout. Oh, wait, uh, I want to try, I, I want to make sure I go on uh, this road here on Fairfax County Parkway, but instead of turning to possibly go down uh, Hose Road here, I wanna make sure I hit this loop coming from this direction. So uh, for now, I'm just gonna add one waypoint right here. Okay, and then I'm going to add one up uh, at the mini roundabout the mini modular roundabout that I've done a few times. And uh, again, you can type an address, so that's a, a pretty easy way to do it. Or you know, you could just search, and I think that it also has uh, different views, which I haven't played around with uh, too much. So here it is. And let's say I'm gonna add this point and say so I wanna add two points on the roundabout, make sure I go around it, we'll see how that works out. Okay, I think that's enough points for now. And now, you know, okay, so this, the problem is, what is the best way to do this? And there, like I said, there are some advanced options, but all I have to do is click find route, and in a matter of seconds here, it's gonna come out with a route to, to do. And so, okay, look at that. Uh, it has the, the numbers. And so basically it has me coming, going down, taking the curvy hose road, uh, coming up and coming and doing, doing the roundabout, coming back down on the highway, doing this roundabout, the U-turn, and then back to that point that I mentioned before, and that's exactly what I want. So, 
uh, you know, you can come in here and if you wanted to tweak it, you could probably add extra waypoints, uh, but that's good for now. And so then my question was, how do I get this to the car? And so luckily there's a few download options and you can download in these different formats here. Uh, I might consider making something a little bit more advanced in the future. However, if you click TXT, then you get a download. And let me open that up. And it gives you just a list of addresses. So this got me thinking, I can easily write a shortcut that sends these one by one to the car, uh, to the Tesla. And then those that will show up on the screen, you can name them and then input them into a route. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm in a brand new shortcut. Uh, we can call it uh, Tesla Waypoint Loader. And then what we're gonna do is, so we know that the text that we brought in is here. So there's plenty of ways I could make this take input and stuff from the for the future and make this a little bit more robust. But for now, I'm just going to copy these. I'm going to make a new text uh, field. And I'm going to be able to do most of this on my Mac, uh, which will sync over via iCloud. And I will have to do the Tesla send to Tesla app on the phone. But this is easier uh, until until Apple makes shortcuts on the Mac, uh, support all the things that they do on the phone. You'll have to do it this way. So uh, have all these texts, each one is separated, each address is separated by a new line. So I'm gonna use the split text action to split the text by new lines. Then I'm going to uh, repeat with each item. Uh, so pull over that block and I've done this before. So it has, these recent suggestions in there, uh, but you can search for them. So repeat each item in split text. Uh, and then uh, basically I'm going to just show that. So uh, sh see show, so just search for show result and put that there and then share with apps. And I'm going to take that item and share it to the Tesla app. And I'll have to do that with the iPhone app in a second. I'll show you that. Uh, and then uh, basically it'll do these one at a time. Now, if you want, uh, because it's going to be a little bit easier, I'm going to show you a technique I use to number these in the car so that you can repeat this over and over again. And uh, it doesn't really depend on saving these in the car. You will save them as shortcuts but or as favorites but then you can delete them later. So uh, there's a couple, again, different ways to do this, but I'm just gonna, for the sake of sim simpl simplicity here, I'm going to show uh, the result and instead, before the repeat item, I'm going to uh, clear this out and let's see, double click and do repeat index. And this will show us the number uh, and then the uh, address. And the address doesn't really have to see it, but it's gonna help help me as I use this in the car. Okay, so I go to shortcuts and because of iCloud Sync, the shortcut is already there. I'm gonna click on the three dots to open that up instead of run it. I see my addresses, all the steps we included, and then share item with, or the repeat item with app. If I click on that, all I need to do is select Tesla and we are ready to go. As you can see, if I click play, I get the number of the waypoint and then the address, hit done, and it's gonna go to my screen. It sends it to the car, wait a few seconds, and that will go away and I will get number two. And it'll wait as long as I uh, want to play with those waypoints in the car and name them and anything like that. And so I, until I hit done, it won't send the next one. And then I can deal with that one. So let's take a look at that in the car. Here we are. So let's focus on the screen and start seeing what this looks like. Okay. 
So here we are with shortcuts loaded up. We're gonna open this up and go to waypoint one, all right? And what it's gonna do is going to show you the address and then send it to the car. So now we now go to the waypoint to that it added, time. and if it's off the road, I recommend putting it on the road. You're going to have to play around with this to see the best way for it to work, uh, but these waypoints, since you have to remove them when you're driving, if you want it to not stop at each one, then uh, it's probably best that they're right not, uh, not right after turns and uh, that they're on the road as best as possible. Definitely not on side roads that will cause the route to... Um, to be messed up but there are ways I'll show you how to fix that later so uh, I'm going to add this uh, tap and hold and, and move it from where the uh, map sent it to and put it on the road here I'm gonna click the star and I'm going to rename that to be one now we go back to our shortcut and we go to two we hit OK the address is hose road hit OK there sends it to the car and now we are not adding these sequentially we are basically bu um, building these or loading these into the favorites first and then we will make the route so same thing here there's no turns nearby uh, so I'm just gonna add that one to the next one three is the Ravensworth Road up at the mini modular roundabout now, I did have two waypoints here. I did uh, change it to one since I realized they were the same address. Uh, but I'm going to put this, uh, since it came in on this road, that's the other thing. We can tweak these later. I'll show you a way to do that. But um, it depends, you know, what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to put that right he uh, here. And I'm going to add that one as number three. I actually started building a route here. Now we'll do number four. Back click road. Now turn left onto Gowgate Drive. This one is, so see this one is off by the address because the addresses can be different in Tesla and I want it to be in this roundabout. So I'm going to, and an add button last time added it to the route. So I didn't mean to do that. All I have to do is add to favorites and then I can do the next one. Five is Albin Road prior to the U turn. Again, let's see where this shows up. And yep, I think the U turn is going to be down here. So let's add this part. Another thing you could do, I'm not sure if in this version it seems to make it better or not, but if you um, if it does give a street address and you double tap uh, here it can change from the marked location to an unknown location and I'm gonna do that one let's do five now go to six rolling road sends it to the car now turn left onto Galgate Drive change that to six and that's uh, seven is basically back to where we're starting so sent that one and actually it's gonna be the same as six but you just for, for uh, sake of argument let's put that down here Okay, so now that we have those loaded, here's the easy way to do it. It's repeatable. You can keep these in the car or if you save that shortcut uh, or save the, the text file, you can easily recreate this in the future. So I'm gonna navigate to, let's just say seven first. I'm going to open the route and edit the trip and I'm gonna start adding these in. So I'm gonna add one I'm just going to start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Oops. Seven. All right. Now, there's the route. Okay, so the route may be slightly different than you see on Route XL because of traffic or differences in the maps. Uh, but let's say, for example, I want to edit this and add a waypoint. Um, maybe go down this road and up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in, especially on main roads that don't have addresses. That can, this can be troublesome. Make sure you're on the road. See that showed Brad Wood Street, which is over here. Um, make sure you're actually on the road you want. And I already did this a second ago. So there's that 2.5. If you hit the star, uh, what I was going to say was, oh, and deleted it that's a cool thing so let's click that again we'll change this to 2.5 just so it's easy to figure out these waypoints and then I'm going to click on edit trip I'm going to click in the middle of them so it doesn't move them click add and then take that 2.5 throw it in and move it up to between 2 and 3 and then there we go. We have exactly what we wanted to do. Now all we have to do is drive it. All right, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. And that way you can uh, stay tuned for part two to see how this drive works out on FSD Beta 10.12.2.